Hey guys, T Koala here. Got another tips slash guide video today for Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And this one is all to do with the Dragon Balls. Just realised how that sounds if you don't know the show. <laughs> Saying that, if you're not familiar with the show, Dragon Balls are mystical magic, well, balls. That once you gather all seven, you can summon your mighty Dragon Bro Shinron, who will grant you wishes. This is no different in Dragon Ball Z Kakarot. And in today's video, I go over my tips for easy collecting Dragon Balls and what wishes to go for. I'll leave timestamps in the description if you want to just skip ahead to the wishes. Please leave a like if you enjoy, this really helps me out and if you're new, consider subscribing. Collecting. Once you have completed the Freezer Saga, Chapter 2, and have started the intermission stage, which is the kind of in-between parts of the game where you're encouraged to run around the open world, doing side quests and collecting the stuff, You'll notice that Dragon Balls now appear in the area and world map. If you hover over a Dragon Ball icon in the area map and mark it, you'll notice that there is a massive beam of light that ex highlights exactly where it is in the area. Particularly handy when a Dragon Ball is hiding in like a lake or just, you know, up in the mountain, etc. Just makes life a bit easier and I definitely recommend doing this. Repeat this process for the remaining six and you'll have them in no time. Wishes. After collecting all seven Dragon Balls, simply head to the main menu and select the Dragon Balls option. From here, you are presented with the options for your wish. I've heard that once you have completed the Cell Saga, you are given three wishes instead of just one. I've only just started the Cell Saga, though, so I'm not 100% on that. Take that with a pinch of salt. Okay, so first off, the Zenny option. This grants you 10,000 Zenny, which, to be honest, is not worth it, generally speaking. Like you can easily make that by setting exchange items that you've no doubt gathered as you've just been playing the game. Also, the rare item wish is not worth it too, in my opinion, as you just get cookie materials and some gift items to use on your community boards. So it's only really useful if you're looking to boost up some of your soul emblems, I'd say. Okay, now, the Z orb option. This can be useful, but as you are given a decent chunk of orbs. I'll include what you get on the screen now so you can see. But basically if you've run out of orbs and got a good few skills to unlock on the tree, this could be worth a go. Although it's not my recommended wish again, generally speaking. Like if you're after orbs, I'd recommend instead just doing the random fights because you, you generally get a decent chunk from doing that. Now, the option that is most ambiguous but certainly the most useful one, what I re recommend is bring back dead characters from the other world. This in a nutshell will revive certain bosses you have defeated and start a side quest where you fight them again using a certain character. So in the case of Raditz, you have to fight him with Piccolo. Doing these fights net you a whopping amount of XP and a decent chunk of orbs, but most importantly you obtain the soul emblem for the boss you have defeated. Alright, and that's it guys. I hope it helped, hope you enjoyed the video. I shall see you in the next one.